All right, now what's coming up next is a play. It's gonna have um, about five scenes. It's gonna go about 35 minutes. Um, there's no intermission. So, um, and uh, just to sort of set the scene, all right, it's gonna begin in, uh, at the end of Hamlet, okay, with lots of dead bodies on the ground and two guards talking about what just happened. Okay, so now due to due to some uh, fuck ups with the props and set design, it actually looks like a prohibition bar. But I want you to, to ignore all that. And now instead what you see is Dulcinane Castle, or whatever the castle is from Hamlet. And uh, and, and now I bring us to two amazing, fantastic guards who are coming up to the stage. <laughs> Scene one, notice the dead body of Ophelia on the fainting couch. <laughs> Two guards. I thought this was called spear carriers. Yeah, prop guy fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> Perhaps we should have intervened? Weren't asked. I'm pretty sure Claudius asked. Huh? Claudius said, oh yes, defend me friends, for I am hurt. So, there you go. Yeah, we aren't his friends, we're his guards. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't think he would have cared who defended him. You want to get ridden up? <laughs> <laughs> who would write us up? They're all dead. I, I, I feel bad about this. This is, this is politics. This happens every day, man. <laughs> <laughs> These people are dead. Not people, they're royalty. They will be fine in the next life. <laughs> well, you know, maybe you should collect the bodies. Okay. Let's say we collect the bodies. Tell me, who guards the door? Good point. Uh-huh. Do, uh, you think we'll get fired for this? Well, if we were, it'd be wrongful termination. This door has never been so guarded. <laughs> <laughs> Borton brought probably his own guards. Okay, we guard someone else. But I was getting used to that, Mark. I'll admit it has a certain charm. I do like the way they run their country. <laughs> You're serious? Well, what do you want them to do? Seed power peacefully? Spend the next 30 years mired in passive aggression? This is far more efficient. Fun to watch, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's funny. I was, I was guarding the door to Hamlet's chamber the other day. I, I overheard him talking about existence. Okay. What do he say? Uh, to be or not to be? That is the question. Oh, that's easy. To be. <laughs> it's not that simple. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. Look, whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take arms against a sea of troubles and by opposing end them. It's nobler to suffer. Says who? People. Which are people at the top. You mean those people? Okay, just because they're dead doesn't mean they lack intelligence. <laughs> <laughs> You know, it's funny, I, I thought about opting for not to be once. Just once. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. It's just, it, you seem like the kind of person who would lean towards mo not to be more than once. You know, like, say, any time you didn't get something you wanted. You know, I take my not to be moments very seriously. Yeah? <laughs> okay. When was the last time you leaned toward not to be? October. And why were you leaning toward not to be? Because I was unhappy with my career. I don't want to be a spear carrier the rest of my life. Really? What do you want to do? I want to be a playwright. Well, it's a good thing you excel at guarding doors. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I showed one of my plays to the player king. And? He said it was interesting. Okay, keep up the spear practice. You know, it would be nice if you were encouraging. Oh, come on. We're bonding, trash talking. This is part of the process. According to whom? People. <laughs> What's your big dream? World domination. You're serious? Yes. Uh, I want to climb my way up the spear carrier ladder. There's a long line ahead of you. Not if they keep killing each other. Touche. <laughs> <laughs> so, why world domination? I really want people to have no choice but to be nice to me. Oh, I so get that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's one of the things I really liked about Claudius. I mean, seriously, he was the, one of the only people in power who was actually a nice guy. Yeah, he was. Always nodded at me when he passed in the hall. He did do that, didn't he? I mean, so what if he killed his way to the top? It's just 
part of the hiring process, right? You know, it, it, if manners were as important as murder, we could have avoided this whole complication. What does that have to do with anything? I, I'm sorry, I, I'm changing, I feel like I'm having an anxiety attack, so I changed the subject. Oh, I'm sorry, over what? I, I don't know, it's, it feels like I'm having heart palpitations. Like, oh, okay, maybe it's just indigestion. <sighs> You know, it, it's amazing how I can switch between, you know, being weary of life and not wanting to die. Conscience doesn't make cowards of us all. Ooh, did you come up with that? Uh, something Hamlet said. Okay, you should really say that if you're going to quote it. Why? Give him credit. Okay. Conscience doesn't make cowards of us all, according he, to Hamlet. Cool. He's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, I have been unconscious and absolutely terrified. I once had a dream where I was being chased by a lawyer with a spear. Why would the lawyer have a spear? Clearly, he was unconscionable. Ha! Ah. Clearly. <laughs> Don't worry, man. Things will pick up. I hate when you say that. Why?